Are you looking to improve the performance of your amplifiers at millimeter wave 5G or Wi-Fi frequencies? Or validate your compact transistor models under large signal operating conditions? Or characterize your device behavior as a function of load impedance? Then we have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Jonas Urbanas. I am a senior product engineer with Mori Microwave. And today we will be speaking about active load pool device characterization between 10 MHz and 67 GHz using our IVCAD software platform and Keysight's N5247B series PNAX. Load pool is the art of presenting a set of controlled load impedances to a device under test while measuring a multitude of parameters at each impedance state. Vector receiver load pool, or VNA based load pool, as shown here, is a modern and efficient methodology for load pool measurements. Low loss couplers are used to measure the incident and reflected waves at the DUT reference plane in real time, presenting vector information not normally made available through traditional power meter based load pool techniques. The delivered input power is derived from the incident and reflected waves with incredible accuracy, which enables the computation of power added efficiency. Output powers at fundamental and multiple harmonic frequencies are readily available as are multi-tone carrier and intermodulation powers. In active load pool, instead of using a passive impedance tuner, the PNA access second source is used to create an active injection signal which is then presented to the output of the device under test. This allows us to synthesize the reflection coefficient values with magnitudes up to and even beyond 1, thus overcoming the dissipative loss-related limitations of the maximum tunable impedance range in passive load pool systems. Moreover, any complexities related to tuner mounting in on-wafer measurement setups are also eliminated. Let us see how this works. Firstly, we will bias our device. Secondly, we will define the pattern of impedances we wish to present to our device under test. Thirdly, we will set the desired input power for our load pool measurements. Finally, we will define any stop conditions that are relevant to our test and start the measurement. Ready, set, go. Passive, active and hybrid active load pool measurements can be easily configured with an IVCAM, the industry's premier device characterization and modeling software suite. To perform load pool measurements, we first need to bias our device. In this demonstration, a bias optimization feature is used, allowing to automatically set the device QS and bias point. Then we need to define the desired load impedance pattern that will be presented to our device in the test, configure the drive power, set the compliance criteria, and start the measurement. During the measurement, all of the device parameters are computed in real time and made available for plotting on a Cartesian plot. After the measurement, powerful post-processing tools are right at your fingertips, ready to be used to analyze the data. In summary, Load Pool is a powerful tool to characterize the behavior of a device under test under linear and non-linear operating conditions as a function of a load impedance. Load Pool enables the characterization of non-linear phenomena such as frequency mixing, harmonic generation, AMAM, AMPM, and intermodulation. This information can then be used to design maximally efficient and powerful PAs by extracting the maximum performance from the transistor. Load pool can also be used to validate nonlinear transistor models under large signal operating conditions and even employed to extract behavioral models. With Mori Microwave's active load pool solution and Keysight's 67 GHz PNAX, you can overcome all the limitations of passive load pool systems and passive impedance tuners at any frequency between 10 MHz and 67 GHz. For more information, visit moriamw.com or contact your local field engineer. Thanks for watching.